We're joined now by the head of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, Peter Gaynor. And Mr. Gaynor, thank you for joining us this morning. I want to talk about, for, start out with this immediate need for protective equipment for healthcare workers, especially those critical N95 masks. The president said yesterday that FEMA is distributing 8 million masks. Can you confirm that you have 8 million masks on hand? Where and when will they be delivered? Well, uh, we, we have much more than, than the 8 million. Uh, every day we find uh, new uh, sources of masks, so whether they're uh, in federal stockpiles, foreign uh, ports, or donations, uh, we, we have every day continued to build up our supply of N95 masks, surgical masks, and get those to where they're most in need. So that happens every minute of every day. As, as you know, New York is the epicenter here in the United States uh, right now. The president put out a tweet this morning saying the world market for face masks and ventilators is crazy. And Governor Cuomo is warning here that they just don't have enough supplies to get through the week. It's going to run out at the end of the week. And he's calling on the president to actually use the Defense Production Act because the governors of different states are competing for these supplies. Is the president prepared to do that? If not, why not? Uh, so first of all, uh, you know, we, we are focused on the hot spots. New York City, absolutely. Washington State, California, L.A. Uh, we, we are absolutely ready to use the, the uh, Defense Produ Production Act. Uh, you know, we just want to be careful that we don't uh, do anything to, uh, to put it out of balance and counter some other positive efforts that we see. So uh, we will use it. I have no doubt about it. Uh, but right now, uh, we're focused on getting those uh, critical items to those uh, states most in need. And what I say to, to all governors out there, uh, if you find a source, go buy it. FEMA will reimburse you. But they're saying that's the problem. They're out looking for a source, and they're competing with each other. They're bidding the prices up. They're saying do it now. Right. We, we hear that. And, and again, uh, we're, we're ready to take action on all of that. Again, we're trying to keep the system in balance. Uh, we don't want the federal government scooping up everything. We want to make sure that there's enough capacity that governors uh, and, and mayors around the country can order the, uh, on their own. So it's a delicate balance. I have the, the, the top professionals here in my building making sure it all happens. It's, it sounds like we're talking past each other right now, uh, Mr. Gaynor. I mean, the, the, what the governors are saying is that the federal government should scoop it up and then distribute it to the states that it, by forcing them to compete with each other, it's driving up the price and hurting their ability to get what they need. Uh, again, uh, the, we're trying to identify uh, sources around the globe. Uh, if it's in China, we're ready to fly it back to the United States today. Uh, again, we're focused on making sure that those state, those governors that are most critical in need, no matter where it comes from, whether it comes from the federal government or from another source directly, uh, we are enabling that today. You've already declared major disaster areas in New York, California, Washington, as you said. We just heard Tom Yamas report down in Louisiana. They say the infection is accelerating there, had similar warnings out of Florida. Do you expect to be declaring more disaster areas in more states? Uh, absolutely. We, we have requests from uh, a couple different states. So we talked to Governor uh, Edwards yesterday out of Louisiana. The vice president and I held a phone call with uh, all the governors, uh, and, and they are absolutely uh, on our list. Uh, and we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we care about fulfilling every governor's request, and it's a matter of priorities. And so that is our focus every day. Mr. Gannon, thanks for your work. Thanks for your time this morning. You're welcome. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.